Hello, Pamphomaniac. I'm pretty sure you remember this picture. Since the day that she's tried this, she's been bugging me to make her one. Because this was not ours. So I decided I was going to make her a very veluty one. The plan was simple. Power supply, PPWM, and an H bridge down to the little mat. And this is what it's going to look like when we're done. So let's get to building this thing. I was in the rush. She was on her way home today and I wanted to surprise her with this. So I really had to work hard and fast. So I was going to use that nice green foamy as my mat back up to hold the rings in. Now, I knew I was going to succeed today because look at this. First attempt, it fit into the cushion cover. That's amazing. Then I had to move on to the next part, soldering these tiny, tiny little thing. I don't like doing this stuff. Like it's, it's hard on my eyes, really. But for my woman, there's nothing I won't do. Then we had to solder the power supply. It's not as hard as I make it sound. I like to complain a lot. Then I had this brilliant idea that I was going to have a remote button to adjust the frequency. Um, I think I wrecked three cards trying to do this. And you'll see at the end why you don't even need to do that. Then as usual, remove the varnish. And yes, you can use magnet wire as a wire. They work really well for that. The red stuff is insulation, right? Then we had to test it. And I looked at it and I was pretty impressed. It was working good. Now here's what it looks like inside. Don't worry, we're going to show you the schematics again right away. So there's the edge bridge. When it flashes that way, that means we have a bipolar. Once again, I'm happy. I almost ran out of room with those buttons in there, by the way. Then you got to shove everything back in there. Now watch the next thing. I mounted some little posts on the card and then cut myself a little plexiglass, marked it, and then almost perfectly line up all the screws. Almost. But not quite. That last one there was giving me a little bit of a grief. But it's a nice little way to uh, put a cover on a, on a card that doesn't have a frame per se. Tedious, but worth it. Then after that, I mounted the um, plexiglass to the cover. Now, that PWM has three channel. Remember, we talked about this before. One of the PWM has to have half the duty cycle of the other if you want bipolar. If you don't want bipolar, the PWM that goes to direction on the H bridge, just leave it at zero. So the H bridge is pretty simple, guys. We you know we talked about that power in, power out, and then direction has to have half the duty cycle of PWM. If you don't want bipolar, just put direction down to zero. I want to open up a quick note here. Do you see where I got? the buck converter to go from 19.5 volt to 5 volt to the PWM. That's because the H bridge, the manufacturers recommend that the control be done at 5 volts or less. And I've tested it over and over guys. Um, I've had no problem with it running at uh, 20 volts, but you do that at your own risk if you, uh, if you decide to follow that. And there it is again. You can pause the video here if you want. By the way, the Patreons had this for months and months now. Many of them have built it. And here again, this is what it looks like. It looks busy. It's not too bad. Then we had to build a mat. My first attempt at a mat, I had six coils, two, three, two series uh, of three in parallel, and the resistance was too low. So I had to do some mat and I was done to the crunch. I had one hour left. She's on her way. I have to have the mat ready. I'll tell you in a second why she really wanted this mat so bad. 
but you gotta hang on with me there and watch me struggle. So, without waste and time, put some heat shrink. Everything is working. So far, so good. So far, so good. Now, here's a funny thing. I plugged it in, tested it out. I wanted to find out my north and south. I'm on bipolar right now. I couldn't tell. So what I did is I turned down the duty cycle that goes to the direction on the card to zero, and I was able to find my north and south. Now on to my mat, and I'm gonna be using the tuck tape to the rescue. Secure everything to my mat. Now I'll give you guys an idea. I was able to build this mat in about, uh, I would say about three hours, including making the coils. So it wasn't too, too bad. And there it is. Can't wait to give it to her. So now let's talk about why you don't need the buttons to adjust it. You see the holes I made there to adjust the duty cycle? Just make the same hole for your frequency. And then use a toothpick and then just adjust it that way. It's a beautiful thing. I'm very proud of this. There's no on off on it. It's a plug and unplug, but uh, maybe in the future we can put a switch in there somewhere. Now you can use that on your back and down your belly. Um, I keep the duty cycle fairly low, so there's not a lot of heat being generated. But I got, she was really happy when she got it. She was ecstatic. She loved it. Now you want to know the reason why, right? Pretty simple. It's a woman thing. Now you're probably wondering why I got this on my shoulder. This is my first prototype. I want to make a wearable 24-7 PEMF. I need this for my shoulder. I keep wrecking my shoulder. And the doctor, they want to do surgery on it, but I keep bringing it back up to 75-80%. And then, well, you know, I work with horses, so... I get yanked and they ripped everything off and then I lose my shoulder again. So I decided I'm going to wear this for a week straight and hopefully it'll heal my shoulder better. Right now it's huge. I'm waiting for some parts. It'll be way smaller than that. I'm using a big battery in here there too. So, But I'm planning on switching to uh, a watch battery and make everything super small. I use this humongous pad like the leftover from the mat that I build today that's the piece that I didn't use for her mat you guys if you lasted this long think about patreon they've known this for a long time we have our own little inner circle over there we exchange lots of ideas we play this is like a private club right I don't care how much you give every month that's not what it's about really what it's about is people that come there and they pay every month it's like a filter it keeps the riffraff out Smart people, it's full of them in there. Like, we have a blast. They've had this bipolar stuff since March, at the end of February, being in March of 2023. Uh, the time I'm filming this, I'm still working on the prototype, so as I'm speaking, they don't have this. But as this video's coming out, I'm pretty sure they have the schematic for this too, for quite a while. So I try to give them everything first. But subscribe, give me a thumbs up, leave comment come join us on patreon if this kind of stuff is for you in the meantime be safe we'll talk to you soon